Most Koreans are probably sleep deprived right now, as I am. They watched and watched and cheered on their hearts out for figure skating queen Kim Yona. Sacrificing some sleep was more than worth it, as the reigning Olympic champ stunned everyone for their flawless performance. Our Yi Tae-ho has this and other Olympic updates. Good afternoon, everybody. Let's get right to it. The most anticipated event at the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics here in Korea, the women's figure skating competition has officially kicked off. And the reigning queen of the Olympics, Korea's very own Kim Yona, came out with guns blazing for an absolutely flawless performance. But despite this perfect performance, she received a low ball score of 74.92. Still good for first place going into the free skate competition. Meanwhile, her two 16-year-old teammates, Park Soyeon and Kim Hye-jin, both managed to secure a spot in the free skate competition as well, placing 18th and 23rd overall. And staying with last night's women's figure skating competition, while Kim continued to shine as bright as ever, her two biggest rivals for the competition both struggled on the ice. The Russian sweetheart Yulia Lipnitskaya fell on one of her jumps to receive a final score of 65.23, much lower than her team's skate short program score, to leave her in fifth place overall. Kim's longtime rival Asada Mao had an even rougher night, also falling in one of her jumps and concluded the short program with a score of 55.51, which places her in a disappointing 16th place. And now switching gears from the queen to a new king of the winter games. With Norway's gold medal in the first ever Olympic mixed relay biathlon, Ole Einar Bjørndorlin officially became the most decorated winter Olympian of all time. He's also the oldest ever athlete to win a winter Olympics gold medal and now has 13 medals under his belt with one more chance on Saturday to add to his tally. And speaking of making history, American bobsledder Lauren Williams also made history on day 12. Williams' silver medal yesterday makes her only the fifth athlete to win medals in both the summer and winter games. She did it in 2012 during the London Summer Olympics by winning gold in the relay event and of course again yesterday by winning the silver in the bobsleigh event. And we'll wrap things up today with a look at what to watch this evening and a look at the current medal standings. I'm Itehong and I'll be back again tomorrow for all of the latest from the 2014 Sochi Winter Games.